Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute, and today I'm going to be bringing you some career lessons from the combination of Zen and Stoicism. Okay, so credit for this video uh, definitely goes to my friend and fellow coach and fellow NLP trainer, Victor Pierantoni, who's created a company called uh, Zen Stoic, which combines lessons from Zen Buddhism and Stoic philosophy. And I asked him if I could take some of his work and translate it into specific career challenges that people face. And he told me that not only was he um, excited for me to do so, but to make sure I sent him the video. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through a framework of his called the intentions and delusions. So he's got these four pairs of, you know, on one hand you'll have what he calls an intention, which is something that is gonna be effective, that is going to produce a fulfilling life, all that kind of stuff. And then the counterpart is the delusion, which is something that's going to generally lead to some degree of frustration or struggle. And so in this case, I'm going to give you the intentions and delusions, and I'm also going to discuss how they show up in people's careers. So the first pair is embrace and resistance. So embrace is really accepting life and reality for what it is. And resistance is this kind of arguing with reality of being upset that things aren't the way that you want them to be. And the way I often see this show up in people's careers is that, you know, they'll face some kind of challenge and then they'll get upset about it and they'll blame some external factor. They'll blame, you know, something to do with politics or they'll blame like the elites or the wealthy or, you know, whatever it is. And what they won't do is look at how can they actually do something to make their life better? So they'll go into resistance and they'll, they'll kind of like latch on to these excuses for why they're not living the, the life that they wanna live. And in doing so, they're now no longer at cause, as we would say in NLP. They're no longer operating from what they can control. They're focusing on things they cannot control. And this tends to get people just absolutely stuck. Normally when people are in this state, um, they're stuck in jobs where they feel like they're not earning what they wanna earn, where they're not happy, where they're unfulfilled. And it's, it's very hard to succeed on any dimension if you're in that state of resistance. Uh, the second pair is understanding versus control. So understanding is where you approach things with curiosity, where you approach things with a desire to learn. And control is where you're trying to impose your beliefs of how things should be on some other person or on some system. Uh, some ways that you see this in people's careers, control can show up in the form of micromanaging bosses. But the way that I see it show up most often is when people feel this need to have this perfect plan and everything in their career has to go exactly according to the plan, right? This is the delusion of control. And you know, the thing about control is that life is gonna do what it's gonna do and people are gonna do what they're gonna do. And trying to make everything fit into your perfect plan is, is a recipe for, uh, for missed expectations and disappointed expectations. Uh, the third bond is between sincerity and performance. So sincerity is doing what's truly meaningful to you, is giving expression to that part of yourself, to who you really are and living by that. And then performance is trying to be, you know, all things to all people. It's trying to impress people. It's trying to, you know, have people think of you a certain way. The way that I see performance show up in people's careers is almost always around prestige and money, right? It's They're doing something that's not a an authentic expression of who they are, of what they wanna do with their life, but they're like, oh, well, you know, people are gonna think that I'm I'm, I'm successful and special and all this kind of stuff because of you know this, this prestigious job and this amount of money and it's all about keeping up with the Joneses and oh yeah, I'm a senior vice president at this company and you know, blah, 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 even if that, you know, they hate going to work every day. Right? And, and, and sometimes that comes from the belief that you can't, that they, they don't think they can be successful doing something that they love. Certainly that's a, a myth that society propagates. But a lot of the times it comes because they place that desire for performance as the most important thing. So they don't even question it. Uh, so that, that's where I normally see that one show up. And then finally, the last pair is between discipline and expediency. So discipline is doing what's meaningful, even if it's challenging. And expediency is doing what's easy, even if it's not meaningful or, or not optimal. And so this, you know, this shows up in, in many ways. I mean, at one scale, you have workaholism, right? Where people are trying to 
uh, rather than deal with their own internal emotions, they just throw all their energies into work as a means of bypassing. That would be an example of expediency. Uh, people going and, and, and following the society approved path of doing whatever rather than following their heart. So this is something we talked about over on performance. That's also a form of expediency because they're doing what's easy rather than doing what's challenging and going and say, for example, building a career that could be both prosperous and fulfilling, but it would take a lot of work, right? And they're like, oh, well, you know, that's too much work and that's too much challenge. Uh, that would be the path of expediency as well. So those are some examples of how to apply the Zen Stoic intentions and delusions to your career. And uh, go, go check out my friend Victor Pierantoni over at Zen Stoic. He's got some great content as well. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I want to give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions, and as you answer them, it's gonna give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it, right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also gonna show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free, 100%. All you have to do is just go to www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S-I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E.com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your dreams.